Best in rope skipping instruction. Hosted by world champion Peter Nessler. For this episode of the video cast, we are in New Jersey. Uh, we just finished up an assembly at a school here. We're getting ready for another one. They had kind of a cool stage, so thought we'd film here. Uh, for the JV skill, we're going to be doing a 360 uh, wrap into a cross. Uh, kind of a neat trick that I. Uh, figured out just by watching a, m a video from the national tournament. And then for the varsity skill, we're going to be doing the anaconda, which is a really cool rope release that I've been working on here for a little while, learned from somebody else, and we've just been working on getting it together. So I'm going to show you how to do that. The JV skill. For the JV, we're going to be doing a 360 leg wrap into a cross. What it's going to look like when we're finished, you go around and out. And this is actually a trick I got from just watching a video from the national tournament. Um, so many thanks to Mary Hunter Benton and um, Erica Zen, because I saw it in their freestyle. Um, but any of these kinds of tricks, um, a lot of this stuff, if you just watch videos, if you're maybe trying to think of new skills, watch other people do stuff, try to pick it up. And if you watch them a couple bit, try to break down the skills, you can kind of see what they're doing. And that's all what I did to figure out this trick. Now what it's going to do here, you're going to start off. You're going to turn. Now, whichever way you're going to turn, if I'm going to turn to my left, I'm going to bring my right hand on bottom. If you turn to your right, you would go left hand on bottom. So whatever way you're turning, if I'm turning left, opposite hand on bottom. So I'm going to turn, go into a cross. Now, when the rope comes up backwards, you're not going to do a full jump here uh, because this is where the wrap is going to happen. Now, to walk through it, it's a little bit different than when you actually jump it. So I'm just going to walk you through it, and then we'll add the jump in, and you'll change a little bit of what you do with your leg. So when you go under here, um, when you walk through, I'm going to step over with my right leg. So my right leg is over, and it's going to catch on my left leg. The wrap happens right here, so it's actually wrapping on your leg like this. What I do is I complete the 360. When I get back to front, this hand that's now out, you'll notice when I'm from the cross, when I'm wrapping it, I'm actually wrapping it on this hand. I continue the turn. At this point, I bring this hand back in front of me in a forward crisscross, step over the rope with my right foot, bring it out, and then I'm jumping forward. So it's a very quick wrap. So you go over, step over the right foot, it catches on the left leg, bring your left hand out, turn, cross back in front, swing, and then jump. You can either go into a crisscross or into a regular jump. So you go here, wrap, spin, spin, and then out. Now once you're ready to add it with the full jump, what you're gonna do is when you go on this turn, instead of picking this leg up, you're actually going to jump it. So you're going to jump up. And what I find works the best is if you just stick this leg straight out to the side and just let the rope wrap on it um, with the turn. So if I'm going my left side, I jump and just let that rope wrap right onto my leg. So one more time when you go around, you jump, wrap it, come around. Now that I'm forward, bring this hand back across, step out, and then jump forward. So one more time, goes around, swing, swing, and then back out. And once more, like I said, you're going to do a jump. So you're just going to jump pretty much, go from here, jump with that leg straight out, let it wrap, bring your leg together. When you swing this back across, step over with your right foot, and then back out. So around, and then out. And you can do some movement maybe side to side while you're doing it to add a little variety. But it's kind of a neat trick to do. Um, and combining different wraps with turns and crosses is kind of what's kind of fun with rope skipping is to figure out different ways of doing the same type of trick. Varsity skill. For the varsity skill, we're going to be doing the anaconda, uh, which is a rope release skill I learned from a guy named Daniel, uh, who's no longer jumping, unfortunately, but I still think it's a pretty cool skill. Uh, what it's going to look like when we're finished, it'll look like this. And around. And I'm still working on it, so I don't quite catch it perfectly every time, but just want to teach you how to do it. Now, basically, the first part of doing this trick you're going to want to start off with is it's kind of an odd release, um, because most rope releases, you tend to be able to wrap it on your wrist or you're in a position. This one is on the opposite side. So when you release it, you jump. It's going to come around. Right when it's coming up here is where you're going to have to do the release. So it's going to be a little bit different than most rope release skills in just the fact that you're releasing in kind of a funny position. So you have to be able to release it, and you're going in a forward direction. Um, so if you go from the side, it's going to come here. 
it's going to come around that direction. Now, the first part of doing this trick, um, you want to go up, you're going to release it, you go one turn, spin, and then you're going to be able to catch it and like you were jumping backwards. So you're going to go from here, release, turn, and what you'll notice I'm doing with my wrist is I'm going to go here, I'm going to turn my hand over, and then bring it back up on the other side of my body. So it's almost like you're going behind your back here, and then you're coming back. So it's almost like you're going behind your back and then bringing it back around this direction. So once again, it's going to come up here, release, spin, and you should be able to catch it and maybe even go into a jump backwards. So if you actually caught it, you go here and jump the rope backwards. So you need to get that first part down pretty good before you try going into the second half for this trick. It's a little bit uh, weird to figure out. So you go around, spin, and catch, and from the side, it goes around, spin, and you catch it right there. So once you got that catch, you're backwards. Then when I do the full trick, when it comes around here, I don't actually catch it. What I do is I actually, it's like you're going to jump over the rope when you're actually doing it properly. You don't actually jump the rope, but it would be like you jump the rope here, and then you come up, spin it around, and then you catch the rope out. So you're going to go around here, jump. Right here, you're going to spin this around, and then catch it, and then you would jump forward. So all together again, it's going to go around here, right here where you catch. You bring your hand around this direction and jump it forward. And from the side, go around here. Right here, you spin it around. And so you're basically doing a mad dog. You're turning this direction and then back this direction when you jump it. So when you do it all together, you go around here, jump, jump. And then when you actually are jumping that second one, so you jump the first one where you jump it here, turn, catch it, you land it, and you jump. Now, it's possible when you catch it, go straight into a push-up, straight into a frog, straight into some other kind of trick. Um, but the first part is just getting it where you can catch it and land. So once again, you go here, jump, and then catch and jump. Uh, one more time. Around. And there. Now, once you've got it down and you've got it pretty good, one thing you can do with this trick, you don't even need to jump. You can actually go around here, spin, and catch it. But it's all in your wrist is getting it back out of this position from here, turning your hand over, spinning it around, and catching it. So you go from here, around, spin, catch, and then you jump. And that is how you do the anaconda. <laughs> For more information, check out www.jumprm.com.